Hi everybody, so here we are again. I'm going to show you one more time about the lighting. This one will be very quick for people who don't have time to watch a longer one about the history and all that. Okay, so... So I want to show some of you how to put them together since some of you have received kits that aren't without the cups put together. They're very easy. All you do is take the cups that came with it and stick them in the holes. Okay, and that's how you put it together. Some of you even receive cups with these aluminum rods already fastened in there, like that. So the, the same thing, you just stick it in the hole and you're ready to go. Okay, and if you got them with these metal things separate, you just drop them right in there and you're ready to go, okay? With these uh, aluminum holders, you got a bunch of wicks like this. You just take one of the wicks out and stick it in the holder. That's it. Okay? And again, maybe you, you got one that came like this already with the, the things fixed inside, with the aluminum thing fixed inside. So very easy. Just gonna stick it in the hole, take a wick, and put the wick into the holder. Okay? All set. Now we're going to light them like this is the fourth night. So we'll put that one there. We'll take this one out. Tonight's the fourth night. Buch Hashem. And personally, I'm not using this as the shamash. Oh yeah. And if you got a if yours came with a, a holder for the shamash, you just stick the holder in this hole all the way on the right, like that. And you put the shamash there like that. Okay, they're very easy to put together. Now, like I said in the last video, you can use an oil shamash like this, or you can use a regular shamash. It doesn't matter. Okay, I personally use a candle shamash. We'll see that in a minute. Anyway, let's go ahead and light them. Uh, just for less confusing purposes. I already filled up three of them and then I realized I wanted to film myself filling them. So let's just mix things up so it's not confusing to you. It doesn't matter. Okay, so those of you who didn't get these aluminum holders, you're going to use these wicks that you got. You just want to make sure the top is always going to be the foil side. If both sides have foil, so it doesn't make a difference. The bottom side, this is down, this is up towards the flame. The, the most important thing is that there's more wick on the bottom than there is on top. But for best experience, for best results, as they say, uh, try to put something like this. This is ideal, okay? Something around two-thirds below and one-third above. That's it. Roughly, okay? That's, that's like perfect right there. And then drop, drop it in. Drop it in the top. Take another one, up, drop it, and one more. That's it. Now we're going to light them. <clears throat> oh, we need to put oil in this one because it doesn't have oil. Okay, remember it doesn't, amount, it doesn't matter how much oil you put in, as long as it's olive oil, Okay, it must be olive oil. This is olive oil for cooking and eating. You can use that. It's just more expensive. This is olive oil specifically for lighting. In Israel, it's 25% of the cost of this oil. But you cannot eat or drink this oil. Okay? You can find this in Judaica shops, sometimes in supermarkets. Depends where you live. In the, if you don't can't find this and this is all you have, go and use it. I know it's much cheaper in the States than in Israel. Now, uh... We're done. Now we're going to light. Remember, say the blessings. You can look up the blessings online. Now you're going to light. And we're going to light the newest night first. You always light the, the newest night first because the miracle was greatest every succeeding night. On the fourth night, the miracle is much greater than the third night, which was much greater than every other, the second night and the first night, right? Because we had enough oil to last for the first night. Second night, it was a greater miracle than the first night. The third night, understand? So we honor the newest night by lighting it first. Uh, by the way, 
There we go. Forgot to show you a little trick in lighting these floating wicks. This one lights easier because it's it's sticking way up above the uh, oil. But I have one more floating there, and I'll show you. You just want to keep the flame horizontal, not like I was doing it. I was talking. You keep keep the flame horizontal. It will light easily. Okay, there we go. Put the horizontal flame right next to the wick. These are cotton wicks, and these, this is olive oil, just like they used in the Holy Temple. Look already how beautiful that looks. I don't think you can see in the camera even, but it's just beautiful. Some of you sent me photos of your Hanukkiyot, and they are beautiful. Now again, if you want to fill this one with oil and put a, a wick, you're welcome to. I just, um, I prefer to use a wax shamash, so I'm going to take that one out. There's my shamash match instead, okay? So since I'm going to use another wax candle shamash, which you can use, you can use any candle for a shamash. The purpose of the shamash, two purposes. One we already showed is to light the candles, and the second purpose is to make sure that there's a light besides the Hanukkah lights in the house. Before they had electricity, it was important to make sure that there was at least one candle that wasn't Hanukkah lights, because these lights are holy. They're only for Hanukkah. They're only for Hanukkah light. They cannot be used to light your room. They cannot be used to read by. They cannot be used uh, to find your way somewhere. Only to sit there and enjoy. Now, you should, you should uh, watch them for about 30 minutes, especially, this is impor especially important for women. You can find this all over the internet if you want to. Uh, it's really, really good for your soul to watch the lights. In the same time, say Happy Hanukkah now to each other. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah, kiss and hug, dance, uh, play some Hanukkah music, spin the dreidel, give gel to the kids, open presents, blah, blah. But would, uh, watch these lights over the next 30 minutes, okay? At the same time, because they'll, they'll bring, bring great things to your soul. And the one thing I forgot to say in the last video, after 30 minutes, after, and it will also help because the oil will go down a little bit, after 30 minutes, Take the whole Hanukkiah and put it in your window. This is this is one of the parts of the mitzvah. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this little uh, wick here so it floats in the center. There we go. Um, this is part of the mitzvah is to advertise the miracle. So put it in your window so everybody outside will see the the great miracle. Okay, and uh, I forgot to say that last time. And let it burn out outside. Or, or on your windowsill inside. It doesn't matter. As long as people outside can see it, then you've done a, a great mitzvah in advertising the miracle. Let everybody see the miracle. It's wonderful. And you're spreading this great, beautiful light to everyone else. For 30 minutes, enjoy it yourself. After that, put it outside and let everybody outside enjoy it as well. It means that they're pure energy. Souls are also pure energy. And what's going on in heaven is pure energy. So we can't say exactly what's going in these flames, but it's only good things. And that means it gives good energy and good light to you. You know, Hashem has blessed the Jewish people right now, this, this time. That's why I said in the last video, this is a very important Hanukkah. Because all the Jewish people now are lighting Hanukkiyot. And you're bringing great energy and great light into your house. Especially in this time of history when there's a lot going on. So enjoy it. And these will last four or five hours when they're full. Enjoy that much light in your house, okay? And enjoy this beauty. I wish everybody a happy Hanukkah, a really, really happy Hanukkah. The Jewish people are blessed this Hanukkah to have Hanukkah right now in the middle of so much uh, balagan, right? Uh, so, so use the lights, light them, enjoy them, and let the lights fill your house with joy and with happiness because uh, this is what God has blessed us with. Uh, uh, Things might be getting more difficult after Hanukkah. So take this time to let the light come into your house. Let the light come into your soul and lift you and give you the, the, um, the emunah, the faith and the strength to go forward. And Hashem Yibarech Otchem, may God bless you all. I wish you all a Hanukkah Sameach, Happy Hanukkah and Shalom. Shalom, shalom.